What's going on guys? So next week we're planning to take the F30 on a cross country road trip, but before we can do that, we need to get some of the basic maintenance up to date on the car. Now my friends over at fcpeuro.com were kind enough to send a nice little care package. So we've got an oil change kit, engine air filter, cabin air filter, and some fresh wiper blades. I'm gonna show you how to put that stuff in. It's really not that hard. I think that the reason that a lot of people end up finding my channel is they're looking up BMW information online, maybe they wanna buy one, um, but they've heard all this stuff about these cars being uh, really expensive to own and maintain, and maybe that's true if you're going to the dealership for everything, but I guess what I wanna convey with this video is that for a lot of the really basic maintenance, you'll be surprised at just how much you can do yourself and it's really not that complicated. So let's go ahead and get this started. Let's just go right down the list from easiest to hardest, starting with the wiper blades. Now on the F33 series, one does not simply change the wiper blades. No, no, you actually have to put them into service mode. Does it get any more BMW than that? It's one of those things that's not that hard. You just have to know BMW's way of doing it. So in the natural down position, the hood is actually in the way of the wiper blades. What you're gonna do is press the ignition on and then off again, and then you're gonna hold the windshield wiper lever up past the point of resistance for about three seconds. So now in the service position, you can just pull right back on them, just like any other car. Then you're just gonna pinch this grooved piece on both sides and just pull straight back. Then reinstall the new one the same way. The longer one will go on the driver's side. So next let's go ahead and swap out this cabin air filter. Now technically these do have like a scheduled maintenance interval, but if you ever notice that your car smells funky or you turn on your air conditioning and it smells kind of dank, uh, feel free to swap these out whenever you want. They're not that expensive and it shouldn't be too hard to install. So on the F33 series, your cabin air filter is gonna be on the passenger side, right underneath the glove box. Remove the two 10 millimeter nuts that hold this cover on. Disconnect the 12 volt outlet in the foot well light. Then remove the two T20 torque screws. So just a quick note on these, it does have arrows showing the direction of the airflow. So when you put your new one in, just make sure that the airflow is going in the same direction as the one that you just took out. Install the new filter and reassemble everything. Next, let's knock out the engine air filter. Now it's super simple on the B58, so much easier than on my E90 with the N52. Um, it's just a couple clips that hold this in. Let's do it. So taking a look under the hood, there's your air box right there, and there are one, two, three, and four clips that hold that on. All right, so we saved the fun part for last, and uh, my car is jacked up right now. It's 
doesn't actually have that much wheel gap. It is sitting on jack stands. So uh, anyway, before we start the oil change, it's good to have all your tools ready to go before you get started. You're going to need a ratchet with an, a swivel extension on it with a 32 millimeter. Uh, this is like an oil filter wrench for the B58. They sell these on FCP Euro's website if you don't already have one. And then you're also going to need a torque wrench to tighten everything up when you're done and then a 17 millimeter socket for the drain plug. Now, when you go on fcpeuro.com and you put in your vehicle data, they're gonna have um, different oil change kits that they would recommend for your exact car. So when you go on there, be sure to type in your vehicle info. That way you're getting the kit that's like curated for your uh, model of BMW or whatever car you have. So the kit is gonna come with the um, oil filter as well as seven liters of oil. The car takes six and a half. They don't sell half liters, so you're gonna have um, one big bottle and then two of these smaller bottles. Now for my car, I'm opting to switch to 5W30. Um, BMW suggests to use 020 on this car, which is like ridiculously thin oil. Now since my goal with this build is to increase the power and torque, and just drive the car really hard, drive it the way that it's meant to be driven. I just felt that 020 was too thin, so that's the reason that I'm opting for that. According to the um, owner's manual that came with the car, 5W30 is still within spec, but uh, my only word of caution is if you're gonna use any oil viscosity other than what's like printed on the underside of the hood, just proceed at your own risk. Um, I'm sure 020 is fine just for everyday driving and uh, just like commuting to work or whatever if you're not gonna do any power modifications. But for me, um, like I said, I decided to go with uh, 5W30, which is one of the oils that FCP Euro recommends. Start by removing the plastic vanity cover. Just pull straight up in all four corners and it'll come right off. So from the top view here, you have your um, oil fill cap right there. And then on the B58, the oil filter is gonna be tucked down in there right on the side, on the intake side of the engine. With the car supported on jack stands, remove the 17 millimeter drain plug and have a bucket ready to catch the oil. So while the oil is draining, we'll open this up the rest of the way and just help the oil drain a little bit faster. Now we'll go ahead and take off that oil filter cap. Now it's kind of hard to show where it's at on camera, but as long as you've got that swivel extension, you'll be able to reach it no problem. Oil filter kit, it's gonna have a new O-ring for the filter cap as well as a new crush washer. So we're gonna go ahead and replace those really quick. Your new filter is going to have a rubber gasket pre-installed there and then the side with the gasket goes into the engine and then the flat side just pops into the cap like that. Torque the filter cap to 25 newton meters. So the B58 oil filter cap, not quite as easy to reach as on the E90 but with the swivel extension, you'll be able to get it no problem. The drain plug also gets torqued to 25 newton meters. The B58 takes six and a half liters of oil. Measure carefully because there's no dipstick. It was a little chilly when I started this morning, but it's probably 90 degrees in here. I was trying to wear the sweater the whole video for continuity, but I can't do it, man, I can't. So the thing that sucks about doing oil changes on modern BMWs like this is not only do you not have an oil dipstick, so you can't like instantaneously read how much oil is in the engine. Um, in order for the computer to uh, measure the oil level, the car actually has to be at operating temperature, meaning that it needs to run for a considerable amount of time. So that's kind of scary if you're not 100% sure that you put in the right amount, you just have to be super careful 
and measure accurately 6.5 liters. And uh, if anything, I would err on the side of uh, just slightly underfilling it and you can always top it off easily if needed. Uh, rather than overfilling it, which is worse for the engine, and then you have to jack the car up and drain some oil out. But again, just try to be as accurate as possible. Obviously, open the garage before starting the car. It took about 10 minutes of idling before the car was warm enough to get an oil level reading. So like I was kind of explaining at the beginning of the video, nothing that I just showed just now is really that complicated. I think anybody watching this will be able to do this stuff. And uh, you just kind of start out small, like nobody really goes into working on cars like, oh, I'm gonna replace the turbos or the head gasket. No, you just start out with an air filter and you go, oh, that was easy, let me just see if I can change the oil. Oh, that was easy, let me see if I can do the spark plugs. And you just kind of build your way up, you build up your collection of tools, you build up your confidence when it comes to working on cars and you just go from there. And uh, anything for me that I can avoid a trip to the dealership, you know, it's not always convenient to go there, especially like right now. Um, they might have limited hours, you might have to make an appointment at a time that's not really convenient for you. For me, like anything that I can do myself, I want to learn how to do it and it just makes your ownership experience that much better and you save a bunch of money uh, as you're going along. So about this road trip that I was talking about at the start of the video, next week I'm making a trip to New Jersey to see a close friend of mine. Maybe some of you guys know who that is, but we've got some really big plans for this car. I just had to get the maintenance out of the way first, maintenance before mods as always, but now we should be good to go and uh, look forward to these videos. They're gonna be really good. They're gonna be worth the wait. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.